Hi, I'm Zane Marshall here at Kamal Springs, Texas, standing above the Edwards Aquifer. Since the earliest water wells were dug some 9,000 years ago in Israel, people have been grappling with utilizing this resource without exhausting the supply and harming the environment. While there are both good and bad examples of groundwater management, today's science allows us to achieve a balance. One of the best examples in the United States and one that serves as a model for the Southern Nevada Water Authority is the Edwards Aquifer here in Texas. Serving the water needs of nearly two million people, as well as vast agricultural areas, the Edwards Aquifer stretches 160 miles across South Central Texas. Despite the region's semi-arid climate, this groundwater system is among the most well-managed in the world. The recharge area of the Edwards Aquifer basically extends out into the West Texas Hill Country. It's more of a barren area, less trees, less rainfall, which is very comparable to the springs that we've worked on in central Nevada, uh, including the Ely area and surrounding uh, environment. The key to responsible water use is finding the volume of water that can be sustainably drawn from the ground. Technological advances have played a critical role in allowing scientists to closely monitor the water table, seeing not just how it reacts to groundwater pumping, but to precipitation as well. By building a surface and groundwater monitoring network, hydrologists are able to calibrate the volume and location of pumping to avoid or minimize impacts on natural areas supported by artesian spring flows. Yeah, well, as you know, everything's uh, highly visible on these types of projects. Uh, so you want to, as a scientist, really come in with uh, good scientific rigor and so that you have a well laid out plan, it's repeatable, it's defensible, and you have everybody who's looking at it can buy off on it at the end of the day. And that's the way we approach things. We have approached it that way here on the Edwards, you know, focusing on all aspects from habitat to water quality to the species themselves. And that's what we've worked on in central eastern Nevada, come up with a plan that's agreed upon through the stipulated agreement and implement it. I mean, we know it's gonna be looked at, uh, invite people to come out, uh, participate, and collect the data in a systematic way. That way there's no questions when it's analyzed or processed. However, sustainably managing a groundwater system isn't a one-time policy. It is an ongoing process that requires constant adjustments. In the Edwards Aquifer, for instance, pumping is frequently altered in response to changing conditions. A key similarity is most of this water is underground. Uh, obviously, it's groundwater pumping projects both out in Nevada and, and here in Texas. Uh, the place that you see the water is when it starts issuing from the springs, and this is one of the larger springs here in Comal Springs, but you have a lot of smaller springs in central Texas as well, as you do in the valleys in central Nevada. Uh, although it's unseen, it's a very important water resource to both the environment as well as the people, agricultural use, recreational use, and pure water use for, uh, for people as well. By treating the aquifer as a living system to be nurtured and maintained for the benefit of all, the Edwards Aquifer Authority is taking a comprehensive approach to groundwater management. But I think also because we're dealing with what's called a habitat conservation plan, something that Fish and Wildlife Service uh, mandates, they have requirements that have to be satisfied. And among those are the requirement that, that uh, any impacts are mitigated and minimized to the maximum extent practical. And, and that means that, that we have to have measures in place to make sure that the species uh, overall uh, thrive and do well. Uh, it's essential to their survival and their ability to withstand uh, drought and everything else that, that they have the best environment uh, possible. Uh, to encourage their growth and ultimate recovery. Stakeholders, including water utilities, state resource protection agencies, and environmental groups, work together on the Edwards Aquifer Habitat Conservation Plan to ensure that wildlife and the habitat that supports it are protected. I, I think that that is an important element that, that uh, particularly those that uh, from the spring cities, from New Braunfels and San Marcos, where the springs are located, wanted to make sure that, that, uh, that the springs systems were maintained uh, in the natural state and actually better than uh, what had been allowed to happen over years where 
uh, exotic species and exotic species of plants had had invaded the area. So I think they were that was one of the interests that they represented in the stakeholder process is that whatever we were doing had to be consistent with what was there uh, or an improvement over what was there. There is a delicate balance that requires maintaining continuous minimum spring flows for environmental and species protection, which is legislatively mandated. I think you all are having an opportunity to see a real, unique, uh, natural environment uh, in the middle of a, a rapidly growing, developing city. Uh, and and uh, uh, there are a lot of species here. Uh, there are a lot of beautiful plants, a lot of beautiful trees. Uh, it, it's an area which is enjoyed for recreational purposes. I mean, this is a very unique resource. And, I, you know, that goes a long way to what we tried to accomplish because uh, we're, we're out here to protect a resource, uh, and that resource means a lot to the people. And so we put in a lot of that effort to try to make sure that that's what we achieved. The Edwards Aquifer Authority's willingness to treat this resource as a living system rather than a static aquifer has been critical to its success in maintaining its health. Supported by unprecedented technology that allows nearly instantaneous access to spring flow and water table data, they are able to effectively manage the aquifer as both an environmental and water resource.